suffer little children to gather the wildflower beauty of the Derbyshire Dales for a purpose. Suffer little children to pluck the colour that nature has scattered across the countryside for a reason that reaches back through six centuries to become a reminder of the days of the Great Plague that beset our land. Suffer little children. You are witnessing an unpaid act of gratitude. The painting of a picture, or rather a series of pictures executed with flower petals instead of paint, designed to shine and then to fade and dry within not many hours. Paintings deliberately created for only a few days. There's clay as soft as butter here, where petals and moss and bits of bark make up the holy pictures that for less than a week will decorate the five wells which once were this village's water supply. They make these pictures every year. See the detail, the devotion that goes into the creation of tableaus that will live no longer than the flower petals of which they are made. Consider the artistry of these Derbyshire villagers who every year make up these fresh flower petal screens to deck their wells and consider the tradition and religious significance. This is Tissington, a village that escaped the plague that ravaged Britain 600 years ago because, they say, the water of its wells miraculously stayed pure. This is how they still give thanks for that deliverance. It has taken 70 people, almost half the village population, to produce the beauty that evokes a blessing dating back to days of thankfulness. It has taken generations of transmitted artistry to create colors that last only long enough to call forth this sort of charity. Into the water, people will have thrown some 500 pounds, mostly in pennies,